right. but also reinforces the whole idea. And I'm sorry, going off on little tangents now, no, but you good. know, sooner or later, I'm sure we're going to get to it as we always do, as it's so important for everybody to know. If you have symptoms, the faster you get to the hospital, the better. The faster you get to the emergency department, the better. Now with uh, two major forms of treatment, I'll just mention a few things and we can always come back in more detail. Okay, but as, 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 as most people know now, for 25 years, we've had uh, TPA, which is a clot busting drug that you give through the vein, IV. That was the first approved proven treatment for stroke when you get in really fast to the emergency department. And then much more recently in the last few years, what's turned out to be almost miraculous, much more aggressive treatment, but really almost a miraculous treatment for very large strokes, that is for major blockages in the blood supply to the brain, going in with a catheter through the groin, up through the neck, up into the brain, up into the head itself, and retrieving these clots, taking out these blockages, literally pulling them out of the brain and restoring blood flow. And together, the intravenous IV clot buster TPA plus the more mechanical treatment, which is going in with a catheter and pulling out these clots, has resulted in a complete revolution in our ability to treat strokes, really <laughs> almost staggering, taking people who very clearly would have been bed bound for the rest of their lives or perhaps even died of their stroke and taking a huge percentage of those people wow. and basically restoring them to normal or nearly normal function. Many people going from complete paralysis to virtually walking out of the hospital two days later, oh, not yeah. even going to rehab. Uh, you know, again, this is something that just, it, it, for, for those of us who have been around, either watching the scene or as neurologists being involved in the care of people who have strokes, um, it, it's just so revolutionary. No question, there's more to come. But it's been such a total turnaround in our ability to treat strokes. You know, you look back 25 years ago, you know what it was. It was uh, send flowers, uh, start physical therapy, and uh, keep your fingers crossed and hope for the best. And of course, many people would improve over a few months, over a year, sometimes longer, a very gradual improvement. And that's good because most people do improve from strokes. Most people do. Right. But nothing like what can result from treat the treatments we have now. Wow, it's just a